perfect dive doesn't happen so often. A lot of things have to go just right. To perform a uh, perfect dive from the beginning, you need very good basics. The perfect dive, Texas, last year, a couple times for me. It's you. If you want a 10, just training and focus in your 10. Every dive starts as a 10 on the platform. And then once you leave the platform, you're getting half a point off here, a point off for this, half a point here. The perfect dive is like from another world. From top to bottom, it's just gracefulness. And especially it gives the spectator this feeling of wow. We judge three parts of a dive. It starts with a takeoff. It has to be strong and high, not too close or too far from the platform. The second part is the flight, the position during the flight. And the last part is uh, the entry. It has to be without splash. We call it a rip entry. Yes, of course, all of us are competitive and we all want to be on top, but it's more about training and conquering fear and setting goals and reaching those goals. And to be able to do the, the perfect dive from a judge's standpoint, that's a huge achievement and, and something we all look for. It's cool to be the only one, and I'm sure there'll be more, but um, I'll take that title right now. <laughs> For me as a judge, it's a great feeling to give it a 10, and also as a judge, I gave some 10s. Not many, but some. The judges are very tough, and you really need to be close to perfection to get those 10s, and it's definitely a, a super feeling when you see them.